All right, guys, and welcome on to an episode here of the Super Series. <coughs> Getting a bit tight and fiddly now. Right, you've just seen a little clip. There's a trying some uh, settings out on the oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Power Director. I think it's Power Director. Is it Power Director? Auto hold. Thank you. Pop that up. Yes, Cyberlink Power Director. That is my rendering thing. So yeah, oh, it was cool. Why is that? Oh yeah, <laughs> this field has took a very long time to plow. This was what I was hoping to avoid in my let's plays, but oh well. Here we go. Down to four. Thank you. Lower. It's like a cheap GPS. Hey, <laughs> look, no hands. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I have enjoyed doing the plow work on this. I mean, we do have a nine bottom plow, so it's gone faster than what I'm used to with plowing. Because normally I'm using fives, sixes. Yeah, they just seem to have them really narrow as well. It's just the way they're set up. But, eh, it's gone pretty well. Let's we'll sit properly in the cab, shall we? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I've had to zoom the camera in a bit more than normal as well because the screen's in the wrong place. Fixed it. <laughs> Nobody needs a close up of my mug. <laughs> right, the dog was stalking the short person. She's now on the sofa. Hopefully, going to sleep. Bless her. And I have to figure out what to do with these headlands. With a big semi mounted plow. This is going to be a challenge. But if we take this one right to the end, then we can go from there, maybe. Yeah. So we do. I have a lot more to plow. <laughs> this is far from done. Right, right I'm a twisted. I'm not in my seat, right? There we go. That's better. Right, she's up. She is pointing the right way for what I want here. I'm going to lose it in the bloody hedge now. Maybe. Stop, 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 stop. We got this, we got this. There we go. We need to realign the GPS. So do we need to realign it? Should we just turn it off? You know what? I might just turn it off. There we go. We should better do this bit about GPS. Oh, we're bouncing over the furrows though. <laughs> Just to make you seasick. Right, there we go. Forwardly direction, please. Thank you. Try not to wreck the thing. Uh, if we aim just to the left of that tree, see how we do. I might miss a couple of tails, but I'm not too worried about everything. There are a few parts in this field that actually haven't been painted right. When it's been built. Uh, I got a couple of them, but some I have missed. Look, uh, it's grass. <laughs> Basically, it's got no field texture on it. It does need properly plowing. I say I got a couple of them, but yeah, I'm not so worried. What we're looking at, and I also figured out the map doesn't have multi-terrain angle on it. But it didn't. It doesn't help. <laughs> I had to go back and watch my own video to remember how to do it. But we got there. What we're we looking like. There's going to be patches, but I'm not too concerned. I'll get them with a ripper. Or should we just power her this? Uh, we've got to get it seeded in autumn. The forecast is looking pretty good initially to get some early autumn seeding done. All we have to do is the wheat fields and the grass fields. Which is not too bad. Not too bad at all. We can live with it. And this field has got a bit off now. This field does have half decent headlands. Got grass verges all around it. So that's going to work out for what I'm trying to do now. I could cope with that. But let's not put the tractor through the hedge. Stop. Auto hold. Thank you. Right. Up you go. Uh, what do I do now? Oh, another thing. I also managed to get the 
G27 to do what I wanted it to do. Uh, it's got a separate mode on it. I've managed to figure out how to put in. I'll figure out. I'm pretty sure it's causing an issue somewhere else. And it doesn't show either. Or is that because... There you go. No, it doesn't show. <laughs> it's not having it. Okay. Uh, there is a feature in there that should pop up. Now, and it basically locks the G27 in manual or auto. If it's in auto, three and four work uh, like sequential on the gears. One and two are sequential on the ranges, and five and six is forwards and backwards. Now, in manual, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and reverse changes forward to reverse. Flex your direction kind of thing. So, I like it. As it is working, but I'm pretty sure it's causing an issue with some other vehicles. As usual, this really, really advanced scripting has defeated me. But I've got it partially working, which is kind of cool. As I did put a request in to the author, see if he could maybe do it as a feature later on, and he reckoned it was too complicated, so I am fairly certain I broke something. The author's put together one hell of a script, and if he thinks it's a little bit too complicated yeah I'm yeah <laughs> the game will explode maybe not now maybe not tomorrow but it will at some point it does help if you have the plow selected to turn the damn thing <sighs> one cool thing about this plow is though that it is and um, not in the furrow one that just went completely to crap ah oh, lost it okay it should have uh, turned that before I started reversing that really screwed me. Back in reverse. There we go. That's better. I don't think I've ever actually used a plow like this. There were the bigger one, the nine bottoms, but they had the wheel at the end. They weren't sort of mid-range like this one. I can't remember how they used to perform. Back into forwards, apply thrusters, drop super weapon. Uh, it's a non infero plow, so we should be able to go around about here. We'll make some good progress. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We'll take that. It's weird because I can see myself in two places. I've uh, flicked the camera screen round on the camcorder so I can actually see what that's recorded, and then I see the other one on OBS where the background has just disappeared obviously the camera itself doesn't have the chroma key on did I say obviously it's not obvious the camera itself doesn't have the chroma key so the green screen is visible on that screen obviously it wasn't even obvious to me <laughs> uh, not like it's on like a prick is it I do try <laughs> right, on the previous video there were a couple of comments anyway about how to do the crops and bits and pieces now that rake it was indeed rented thank you for the people who pointed that out that would have sat there costing me an absolute fortune and I wouldn't have realised so that has been returned I don't know we didn't rent the damn thing so maybe we could have hidden it in a corner somewhere and got away with it you know Ooh, it's not here mate I don't know where your rake is. <laughs> I can't see him putting a tracker on a rake. <laughs> but no, it's gone back. We did the decent thing. Let's do another decent thing now and not crash into the hedge. And that's that. Flicker up. We are going for a reverse, so do not rotate the damn thing just yet. Right, we're backed up. Back at the forwards. Now we can do the reverse. Rotate even. not put it through the wheel arch there we go now we should be able to come back up on it and all's well and good correct ah look at that yeah I'm liking this going very very well yeah but thanks for the heads up on the Great guys, there's quite a few of you who knew the secret to that one. Much appreciated. 
all help goes well. Here we are. All right, crack on. That didn't lower, did it? It did. Wrong button. Oh, right button. I just thought I had the wrong button. <laughs> uh, I think I'm actually going to start reading comments out because we're getting quite a few at the minute. It's always good to give people shout outs. So it builds the community, doesn't it? Even though my nose is still blocked and I sound bunged up to high hell. I'm fine. If I lay down on my back, my nose clears and I'm perfect. It's just sat up, nose. So the cold's gone, the cough's gone, the sneezing's gone. It's just blocked nose. Oh well. So I can't be in such a hay fever. I don't get hay fever. It'll be a first if it is. But why have I had it all winter? I'd like to blame the e-cig. I don't want to blame the e-cig. That's like my crutch. That's my lifeline. I don't want to get rid of the lifeline. But I think it's coming. this has to be the year, I think. This has to be the year I quit. Say goodbye to the cig, say goodbye to the e-cigs. Just knock it all on the head. It's just finding the right frame of mind to do it. To actually make it stick as well. That's a challenge. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to it. It's, it's something I really enjoy. Smoking and vaping. But I'm getting older now. I need to start worrying about these things. Probably already done the damage, like. But maybe I'm young enough to get away with it. Just not going to quite give me enough that I need. Hey, you bugger. I think I have to turn around in the field this time. Right, flip it. Take it steady. That's just done. There we go. Ah! Bug. The revs go up when you turn the plough. And so the idle speed goes up. Interesting. I do need you that way though. How are you looking? No, you're not in position just yet. Where do I need to be? That way I'll do it, won't it? Yes. Bring it back in reverse. Am I looking the right way here? Yeah? That's better. One downside to head tracking. They seem to have locked the limit a little bit. I'd like to look straight back, you know? It is what it is. There we go. Let's put it forwards. It goes. Stick her in. That's the thing. When do you put the plough in? Do you rest it on the floor then start? Or is it best to have a little bit of momentum to sort of help it break the skin? And actually dig into the ground. Like having a little bit of momentum makes sense. So, yeah, there's a fair few tons of the tractor, so it would actually help. I think I just had some on question there, didn't I? <laughs> Bit of common sense. Common sense goes a long way. It's something I lack a lot of the time as well. My mind is elsewhere. Joys of being a geek. I'm not so much just a geek as well, it's just I'm a daydreamer. My mind is always on other things. Ideas, things I can do. Like all these little projects and stuff, they don't come from constantly focusing on what you're doing. <laughs> My mind wanders. <laughs> but it works out. We have some good little projects. But, ah well. Right guys, I'm going to call it there. I'm going to wrap this field up. Uh, we do have another one to do. Uh, I can't bring up the menu while I'm actually in the tractor, so we'll get to this end part here. I'll raise the plough and we'll jump out and check it out. I'm pretty sure you should probably pull the plough out while you were doing that as well. You know, moving in a forwardly direction. Shit up. 
whinging SUV. Right, uh, that one. There we go. Right, 13 and 14 are getting wheat. Uh, you guys, I can see this. Yes, you are. There we go. Right, 14 needs plowing because it's a grass field. Yaga. Uh, 11 is a grass field. Nice. 19. Come on, grass. Come on, grass. Not grass. Why did I not swap them around? <laughs> Wouldn't that have made my life so much easier? Oh no, because they all still need ploughing anyway, don't they? So we're going to get really crap grass shields. Ah, oh, that sucks. Is it going to matter? Yeah, we're doing cows. We need this silage. But you can do them twice in a year. We could probably get away with that. And it means I don't have to plough. <laughs> I can leave them as grass. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> oh, which one? No. Uh, 14 needs to rip up, doesn't it? Ooh, decisions, decisions. No, it's not going to work like that. I need. I want to do it this way. The rotation is the rotation for a reason. It goes around in a clockwise direction, kind of. Yeah, we'll do it. So 11, 19 are going as grass. FL 14 is going as wheat. Done. So it's 14, 13. Yeah, that's the rotation. Anyway, I've changed it around. Just basically copied it off from last time. Uh, added an extra wheat in there. So we get a double wheat. We have seven fields. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven fields. And then 37 is what I'm playing about with the old stuff. That's where the fun is. Ha! <laughs> well, I can't really say this isn't fun. And I'm actually really enjoying driving the deer too. That has been a pretty cool day. Playing in the deer. And she handles that plough really well. You can't knock her at all. Beautiful tractor. There, I said it. I caved. <laughs> and on that note, I will catch you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Later.